Hello, lol fans. Uh, coming to you live with another stream, and I promise you, spectator mode is now working again. So hopefully, we shouldn't have a problem like we did last time. Uh, so this uh, is looking like it will be rather interesting. We've got a, a little bit of a wait uh, just while they get started. Uh, so yes, this is Jade Adams uh, or Meta Jad uh, versus. Favzi Mod, uh, also known as, if I can find him again, I can't remember, I'll, fi I'll find out when we get in the game, I'm not very good at remembering names, oh, oh it's Zerodius, um Zero, that's it, so as soon as uh, they're out of champion select, uh, then we will get straight into it. So, this is going to be exciting. Hopefully, this is the first time that I'll be doing all three, or, well, two or three, depends whether they need to play a third game, back to back. Um, but spectator mode is now definitely working, so it should be very, very good, hopefully. Uh, I can already tell you that for the first round, the bans are Master Yi, Aatrox, and Darius. Uh, they were banned by Jade. Uh, and Favzi has banned Fiddlesix, Caitlyn and Swain. I can only tell you that Caitlyn uh, is very popular for the bans uh, in both of the 1v1 and the 2v2 tournament. Okay, so they're actually now in game. But I can't... Why can't I click Spectre? Oh, come on, don't do this again. Oh, come on. Really? You've got to be kidding me. You've actually got to be kidding me. I understand, spectator mode is fine now. This was fine earlier, why are we now... I can't spectate anything. Thanks Connor, GG the stream. This, this shouldn't be happening, I don't understand why this is happening, because spectator mode is back online. I'm really sorry. Lol the sheep. Okay. I don't un I really don't understand why this hasn't worked again. Um actually yeah, restarting the client might not be a bad idea, so I'm gonna quickly restart the client. Uh so I don't even know what you're gonna get on there now. Are you just gonna get black screen or yeah, you're just gonna get black screen. So just have a quick black screen whilst I restart the client. Uh, but that might sort it. Uh, but don't worry, because uh, obviously there's a three minute delay, they've only just started. Uh, so it really doesn't, we're not going to miss any of the action, hopefully. Uh, unless this takes ages now to uh, load up. So I'm sorry you're now seeing a black screen. Um, that can't be very interesting. Um, just got to remember what my password is. Right. Here we go again. Hopefully, just relogging will uh, will fix the spectate. Ah, uh, RJ Walsh in the chat has said that um, relogging has allowed him to spectate the game, so it shouldn't be a problem now if it loads. Come on, come on, spectate game. We are on. The stream is on. All is not lost yet, uh, and we're only 42 seconds. So, uh, Metajad playing as Jace. Uh, whilst Zeradus Nort is playing as Zerath. Um, so that's going to be an interesting matchup. Will Jace's uh, Poke combination outdo Zerath's Poke combinations? Both champions going, both champions, both players going for some uh, some Poke champions here. However, one being AD, one being AP. Uh, though Zerath does have his passive, which helps him with uh, with the armor. So this should be interesting. Um, Question from Rachebear27, who is Zerodius, Zerodius Nort? Uh, his name is Favzi Mod. Um, I don't know if he's a member of uh, the Lancaster University Gaming Society. It may be someone that has befriended me uh, through my YouTube channel. There's a lot of those people in this. Um, this tournament isn't being run by the Lancaster University Gaming Society. It is um, in association with it, mainly because most of the people who are in it are in lugs, as we call it, uh, and I'm the ex-president, <laughs> so 
yeah. It was, invi it was intended for logs, but I've opened it out to everyone. So there's lots of people from all over, which makes it a bit more interesting. You never quite know what you're up against. Because a lot of the time when we're going into these games, uh, people know, you know, if I'm up against someone that I've played with a thousand times before, I know exactly what I'm going to ban. Uh, and it gets a little, uh, a little boring. So this should uh, even it up a bit. So this is going to be, hopefully, this is going to be really good. And hopefully it isn't going to kick us out. Um, three minutes before the end because it has been a bit choppy sometimes it's worked sometimes it hasn't um, the time I tested it before I first casted it fine it was fine the second when I casted it was fine and then we had problems this afternoon before uh, champion select went down um, but okay we're into the game so Zeridus Nort uh, is on the uh, red or purple side uh, Metajad being on the blue or well blue side uh, I prefer having colorblind mode on I don't know why I just started using colorblind mode uh, so let's have a look she shall we uh, so Zerath choosing to start with a Doran's ring a health pot and a mana pot uh, so a fair bit of sustain there and uh, Metajad choosing to start with the fairy charm Fairy Charm, one health pot, and three blue pots. So whilst Merjad is going to have the mana sustain, a bit more mana sustain, though Zerath does have the infinite mana sustain with the Doran's Ring passive, uh, she isn't going to have the uh, the health sustain. Well, neither of them, neither of them are going to have the health sustain, uh, as Doran's Ring doesn't provide you with any uh, with any health sustain on there, unlike Doran's. Uh, shield and Doran's blade. So, both <laughs> mulling around their towers before the the pre one. In the one v one, as you tend to find that most people are just sort of <laughs> standing around waiting for the minions to come. Uh, I've seen a couple of the two v two games, and I've just finished uh, my first two v two game as well, which uh, me and uh, Rob Walsh we won our game. Oh yeah, uh, but there was a bit more of sort of going around the outskirts. Um, so it was it was quite interesting. We got very lucky in our first game because we we got first blood by finding them uh, in the jungle, uh, and Rob landing a, a great thrash hook. So minions are now at the meeting point, and so the battle commences. Um, so just farming, just a bit of farming. Uh, uh, by the way, I should mention, in my last cast that I did, uh, because of a uh, an error I made with some of the settings on my casting software, there wasn't any sound from the game, you could only hear my voice. Uh, I'm assuming that there is sound in this one, I can't check it, because otherwise it will just constantly loop, uh, and you'll hear it in the stream. Um, but uh, if, anyone is, if anyone is listening and could just... Sound is good, cool, thank you, uh, needed that. So you can hear the game as well as me. Uh, question from Kerhodes41, uh, who were me and Nick playing. We were playing Jack Clayton and Oliver... someone. I can't remember Oliver's surname. Um, two guys from Manchester who are um, friends of friends of relatives. Talk about the matchup. Okay, that that works. Thank, thank you. I could do these tips because I really don't. This is the second game I've ever casted. Uh, so please, if you uh, the matchup uh, so far, we haven't seen Zerath in the tournament yet. Uh, we have seen uh, Jace at least once, uh, but it does look like at the moment they're both going for the CS victory. They're not really poking much. Uh, well, there's a, a bit of a poke there, but uh, the minions just taking all of that blast. Uh, so far, they're pretty. They are neck and neck on CS. Um, the matchup itself, it's pretty difficult to, to talk about any matchup with Zerath, mainly because Zerath, you don't see Zerath very often. Um, unfortunately, I don't, I don't claim to be an expert, so I don't want to um, try and give lots of information that could be incorrect. Um, I would probably put my money uh, on Jace in the matchup, uh, just because Zerath needs to. Zerath will be a bit more mana dependent, Zerath will need to stop uh, and stand still to use some of his things uh, and that gives uh, Jace 
time to, to jump on top of him. But at the moment both players are playing very passively, they're just going for the CS uh, and they're both keeping ring up. Uh, just does have a, a slight lead on the CS but uh, reasonably insignificant uh, at this time. Uh, let's have a look at some more comments. Could be Oliver Fingen. That that sounds about right. I'm pretty sure his surname again with an F. Uh, need some colour commentating, Nick. I'll help. Uh, if anyone does want to to help cast, uh, that would be very appreciative. Um, obviously, it's a bit late to start with this one, but maybe for game time. I'm intending to show all, uh, well, both games if if it's a two 0 or all three games if it's a two one. Uh, so there might be a bit of time in between uh, this game and the next one if someone wants to someone wants to join me. Um, let's have a look at some more comments. Oh, Milo says relax is the guy I was accidentally watching earlier. Uh huh. Um, yes, Milo says relax is is in this tournament and he did play a game earlier. So that's great. Milo is advertising some sort of Reddit. Page. I'm, I'm not going to click on it because I'm doing this, but I, I don't know what it's for. But well, I don't know. Uh, okay, uh, cra crazy Fafa, you, you seem to want to uh, join me afterwards uh, for it. Uh, who are you? Because I don't recognise your Twitch name. Ah, uh, the Reddit. The Reddit link is a link to this stream. Awesome. So we're trying to vote it to get it on Reddit. Uh, excellent. Um, back to the game anyway, it's, as I say, it's, it's, they're playing very passively. Oh, no, Metajad thinking of going in with the hammer strike, but no, changing the mind, going back to the, the passive play. Both players still very close on CS, 35 to Jace, 34 to Zarath, so they're neck and neck at the moment. Um, not really much to say, however, both players are now level 6, so could we see... Uh, the Zarath breaking out his ultimate at some point. Uh, obviously, Jace being a uh, eight eight ability champion doesn't have an ultimate. And there goes Jade going in. Oh, blasts away and is safely away from the Zarath ultimate. Uh, I'm going to move the camera slightly so we can actually see what's going on here. As the director camera isn't always perfect. Uh, so uh, both players not really losing out on health. Both players are low on mana. Uh, Zerath is going to use this time to go back and recall, uh, and that's the purchase of three more Doran's rings uh, and the health pot. So that's four Doran's rings and four Doran's rings, four Doran's ring uh, and one pot. Uh, whilst Jade, uh, it looks like Jade is going to recall because uh, she is very low on mana, and one fairy charm isn't going to be doing a lot. Ah, Crazy Fafa is Theo. Theo is French. Do you want to let a French? I don't know yet. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, one thing I will quickly do, as I've just realised, I'm still actually... There we go. Uh, that might ease up some of the choppiness slightly. So, Zerindus Nor getting the first few attacks on the tower. And Jade straight in there with the counter attack, but no damage going to be hit. The minions are going to take that blast. Um, Jade going in on the offensive. But of course, you have to remember Zerath's passive does give him uh, bonuses uh, for his ar uh, for armor. Uh, he does convert 15% of his ability power into armor. And there is a big offense. Oh, and Jade having to flash to get out of the Zerath ultimate. He's going to continue the poke, but he's not going to get it. Now, the question is, is Jade going to pot up, or is she going to have to go back? No, Jade is going to pot up. Uh, now that uh, we see that Zerath has got a, a one-minute cooldown on his ultimate. Uh, but certainly with his long-range poke, uh, he could quite easily poke him out under the tower. Remember, it is just one kill in the 1v1 tournament. First blood is all it takes to win a game. Someone's talking about slugs and crabs. That's 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 great. That's just great. Oh, going in on the offensive once again. Jade bopping him away, and there pops the barrier. And the barrier didn't really take a lot of 
barrier didn't pretty, really didn't take any damage there. He popped the barrier after the damage had been dealt, so a bit of a wasted barrier for the Xerath there. Uh, both champions, about half half the mana pool left. Both looking at. Okay, now both champions deciding to sort of hide from each other and and go on the stealth. Uh, we'll have to see which one of them goes out, but certainly we can see that Jade <coughs> Jade as as Jace has, has potted up quite quickly, um, but still reasonably low on mana. Another full end assault is probably all she's going to have left in her. Just not able. She just doesn't seem to be able to uh, to land the land the uh, the gate and, and shot blast. So I will at times have to look at the um, the abilities down there because I can never remember what they all are. But both Zerath and Jace are champions that I don't play, uh, so you would have you will have to forgive me. I, as I said earlier, I'm not an expert. I'm not the best caster in the world. This is the second time I've ever tried to cast a game. So um, obviously I'm I'm doing <coughs> doing the best I can. Uh, as pointed out by Mighty Sheep. Uh, Jace is certainly ahead on CS and he goes in for another assault and could this be it? This could be it. Who's going to get it though? Who's going to take the first blood? And Zerath gets the first blood! Zerath's Nort has won the first game and Jesus was that close. Uh, what a close, close one that one was. Zerath's ending uh, on... I didn't see it straight away. I can I can quickly go back and just check how much see how much health did he have by the end of that? 68 HP. Zeridus finished on. So that is the end of the first game. Zeridus naught with Zeroth up one nil. Uh, so we will now quit out, return to the client, uh, and the second game will begin uh, very shortly. A uh, couple of messages there. Uh, we have the bands for the next game. Uh, Fiddle, Twisted Fate and Jace, Aatrox, Cassidy and Rise have all been banned. And Rachel has called me a penis. How lovely. Uh, so they're actually in-game now. So we can go into the champion select. So this time Zeridus not choosing to play as Syndra, uh, whilst Metajad is taking Fizz. So we'll have to see what happens there. Uh, I'm not going to attempt. It wasn't you, it was an offering. Rachel is offering me penis? I'm, I'm not quite sure. Now I'm being told to wake up by Theo poking me on. Thinking, I'm not going to attempt to duo cast it now because it means fiddling with some settings in team speak it means filling with some settings in my casting software and I don't want to fuck it up because this game's going to start in two minutes so in future I will do a test with someone to make sure I know exactly how it's going to work uh, and we will stop telling me to wake up team speak it's really why are people calling me penis I don't understand uh, Kerhoots41, Rob, he isn't one of the friends you've added on my account. Ooh. Uh, I was actually I was actually going to talk about Mighty Sheep saying uh, that Fizz is a hard counter to Syndra. Yeah, Fizz is a hard counter to, uh, to most AP mids anyway, just because of the jump. Uh, so Jade should have the upper hand in this, but it depends what's going to happen. You can all stop. You can all stop trying to talk to me on TeamSpeak and stuff. I've already said I don't want to mess with it now. I will test it and try and find out how to do cast it because it's a lot of sound settings to change. I'm not doing it for this game. So please stop poking me. I will test it with someone first so that I know how to do it and so that I don't fuck it up. I don't want to mess this game up uh, and, and not cast it. I'm very sorry. I know I'm bad, but as I said, this is the second time I've ever casted League of Legends, so I don't know. <laughs> Milo says he'll help me test for £200. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Why do you desperately need £200? Why specifically £200? 
I just have to move to your channel. No, I don't, Theo, because my TeamSpeak settings are do go through one channel of my sound, whilst the game goes through a channel, I go through a channel. I don't know exactly what all the settings will be, and I don't want to mess it up. So, just for this game, don't. At the end of this, if you want to test it with me and we'll work it out, then I will do. But I'm not going to mess this up. Milo said he needs £200 for personal reasons. Ooh. So, let us go back alive to the second game of the match. So, Metajad with Fizz and Zeridus Nought with Syndra. No skins. That's sad to see. It's always nice to see some skins. Barrier Ignite versus Flash Ignite. What have people been taking so far in the tournament? What do you think seems to be working better? Taking Flash or taking Barrier? Taking Teleport? I've seen a few Teleports being used uh, to get back to the lane uh, a lot quicker. Obviously the major difference between this and uh, the major difference between this and Magma Chamber, which is the the map that they're creating specifically for 1v1s and 2v2s, is the lane is a lot shorter, it doesn't take as long to get back. Uh, however, to compensate for that slightly, the towers um, are a lot uh, squishier, so they go down a lot quicker. Someone being reminded that the blue side MF in my last stream was pretty bad. So. Game two. Wow, that was uh, a pretty good coincidence. So, let's see. Syndra starting off with the Doran's Ring, one health pot and one mana pot. Fizz starting off with a Crystalline Flask, one health pot, one mana pot. Flask versus Doran's Ring. Uh, however, I would... No, that's two health pots on Fizz. Uh, so Jade opting to go for uh, nothing but the the healing and the pots, whereas uh, a little bit of extra damage and a little bit of extra health on Syndra, uh, but she's certainly going to need it as Fizz is a hard counter. Apparently, I have to ban Vorstave for harassment. I don't know, man. Why would I ban Vorstave when it's time for reckoning? Yeah, I said it. Uh -oh. 30 seconds until minions if anyone on this stream isn't a member of Vlogs or knows what we're talking about, I do apologise. If you are, why the hell are you watching this stream? What what brought you here? Uh, th there we go, that's a, that's a question that you could discuss in the chat. If you're not a member of Vlogs and you're not on this tournament, and you don't actually know who I am personally, how did you get here? Just, just curious is all. Hey, if you came from Reddit, then... Hooray! Milo did something right for once. Minions has uh, Dan telling me that I should stop it because I'm bad. Is it I'm bad because I said it's time for reckoning? <laughs> Apparently, we, you all came from Reddit because I'm on the front page. I find that very hard to believe. Nick, what is their MR? Their MR, which you probably can't see in the stream because it's quite small and the quality isn't overly great. It only streams in 720. Uh, I have to turn the quality down slightly because otherwise it just lags horribly. Uh, let's have a look then. Syndra is on 50 MR whilst Fizz is on 43. Uh, sorry, Syndra being on 30 MR, not 50. That's a, a little bit too much. Uh, so, Fizz, uh, a little bit more defensive. 500 health. Uh, on the Fizz, 518 health on the Syndra. So Fizz is certainly slightly tankier, uh, but Syndra with that Doran's Ring is going to have a little bit more damage. Uh, in fact, 57 AP now that she's hit level 2 uh, compared to the 23 AP of Fizz. Though, of course, Fizz is um, more used to, uh, to his bases uh, and tends to build more magic pen rather than straight up AP. Obviously, Sheen, Lich Bane is very strong as well. So, Syndra going all out on the offensive straight away, uh, making most of the opportunity uh, before Fizz gets uh, the Tidal Trickster jump to try and lay down some damage. Uh, no pots have been burned yet, but 
very early on. Obviously in the first couple of levels very early it is going to be just sort of farming up a little bit of poke. Uh, but obviously both players having to keep an eye on their mana bars. That's another really good hit from uh, the Syndra. He's getting those, getting those hits down really well uh, with the pushback. It's those, it's that sort of mechanic that makes Syndra quite a difficult champion to play. But obviously, where there's risk, there's reward. And here is a bit of an offensive, uh, but both players choosing to back out before uh, fully committing to it. Uh, both players level three now, so obviously they're going to be trying to use all of their abilities uh, to get on top of each other. Uh, but uh, I think it's probably going to be a question of who has the most sustain, uh, who can keep their mana high, because both champions here need to use a lot of mana uh, uh, to put down a lot of damage. I did play a game, a practice game as Fizz um, against uh, Rob Walsh this afternoon, and I played as Fizz, and I found mana to be uh, quite tricky uh, to keep on top of. Uh, I wasn't great at, at sustaining the mana. Uh, however, Jade has now used both health pots and both uh, of uh, and the one mana pot that she started with. She hasn't uh, used, hasn't touched the crystalline flask yet, so she still does still have that sustain. Uh, Syndra, on the other hand, now burning uh, both of the health pots that she started with, uh, and is just relying on that Doran's ring uh, to give her back her mana when she last hits minions. Fizz. Defending, <laughs> defending his territory. No, trying to, trying to keep an eye on the situation, stopping Syndra from getting the farm at the moment. Uh, the Fizz is very far ahead in farm, 27 to 14. Uh, so for the time being, Jade really just needs to think about focusing on farm, uh, and is doing a very good job of, of keeping Zeridus Nort from getting getting at his farm and keeping his CS up. Uh, but of course the question is, is, is that's what's going to happen in the end of it, or will we see another kill? So what have you been talking about in the chat? Uh, Syndra has a point in Summoner's Resolve. Uh, Summoner's Resolve being... I, uh, I never know which way around they all are. It's quite difficult to have to think on your feet like that and I, I don't dare sort of go off and try and find out information. Oh, and that's another hit. Uh, Fizz not being able to use that E quick enough. No, I don't know. As I said many times, I don't claim to be an expert. Uh, and that's one... Is that one or two? That's two of the Crystalline Flask charges she's used up. Now, obviously, the Crystalline Flask, when she goes back to base, she'll be able to, to get those charges back. Uh, but it does still mean without a Doran's Ring or any other added items, there's no extra AP, there's no extra... And here's a bit of an offensive. Oh, and wow! Well, wasn't that interesting. Well, let's just quickly go back and look at that again. So, I'll go back a little further. So, Jade does manage to, to jump and miss one of the hits uh, of... Syndra's Q but still manages to get hit uh, when she fires them back towards her and ultimately that's, if you look, lands just in time to get hit by the sphere and then Zeridus Nort is able to finish up with the ultimate. So that's it, Zeridus Nort has won 2-0 um, in what was a, a counter uh, to him in his second game. Uh, so congratulations to him. Hard luck to Jade, but it is a double elimination tournament. She now drops down into the losers bracket, uh, whereas Zero does not stays in the winners bracket and will continue on. Uh, so uh, that's the end of this cast. Thank you very much for uh, for.